it's called the ministry of men write it down i want to show you the principles by which the saints reign prayer is powerful but i need to show you that men are very important in the equation uh, as far as the victory and the lifting of men is concerned Luke chapter 2 please and verse 52 if it's projected I want us to read it the Bible says and Jesus increased Jesus your model Jesus increased in wisdom help me London and stature and favor with God and it's interesting that Jesus saw the value of men you know we live in a world where in an attempt to show the all surpassing power of God we ignore men it doesn't matter once God is for you that's all you are right but in this context you are wrong the Bible says the heaven of heavens are we students of scripture the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord he says but the earth has he given to the sons of men that means that between the level standing between the level you are and the level you need to be a man must show up in your life the Word of God kept hovering around the heavens unable to come to the earth until a man woman now Mary donated her womb to allow the word to become flesh the body of Jesus is hanging on that cross and no angel could bring it down except a man who asked for permission called Joseph of Arimathea and said grant me access to bring that body down let me tell you when you ignore men you will pay the price with your lifetime in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters a king hates a woman and she stops being queen immediately then he sees this young girl called Hadassah from Shushan and suddenly she becomes queen this is the world of men find a way to convince yourself the Bible says when it has to do with living in the cosmos be wise as serpents that means a serpent in scripture is not a good reptile but as far as dominion in the cosmos is concerned it says borrow an intelligence from the operation of the serpent you will need it for dominion hallelujah there are times where you do not have access to the gates of destiny but you will need someone who is already at the gate to speak for you and if the person at the gate cannot speak for you you will remain oh joseph although an interpreter of dreams you will remain in the dungeon until the king sends for you and when there is no wine presser you may interpret dreams but you will live in the prison i show you the mysteries of the kingdom all blessings come from god through men to men write it down it looks like it came from god directly but i show you a mystery your lifting will come from god through men to men it's true that god wanted me to bless you but without a man your pastor the angel over this house and his wife literally listen please do not ignore men men are very important men can help men to become like God it's true watch this Saul pastor God rejects Saul as king David is in the wilderness having visions of the throne and yet he does not leave the wilderness because one man not an angel one man called prophet Samuel refused to go and call him a man's destiny is tied down although God had rejected Saul but God could not move with David because one man 
and you think God would bypass him and say, I am God. David, I'm God. Let's go. He said he had to come to Samuel to say, Samuel, how long will you weep? Seeing that I've rejected Saul as king, you are delaying someone's destiny. Carry the horn to the house of Jesse. Listen, the person to live to in London is already here. Hold on. Listen, if you do not discern men, the psalmist said, what is man? I would paraphrase it as what is in man. Oh God, what did you hide in a man that men are not seeing? God hides his anointing in men. God hides his possibilities in men. Listen to me. It is true that God called you to a healing ministry, but that grace is hidden in a man. And if you ignore that man, you may not step into that ministry. It is true that God told you this year he would lift you. But that word is in a man. This is not human worship. No. He uses men to lift men. You must understand the ministry of men. Dear brothers and sisters. Satan knows this. He does not look for animals. He does not look for trees. He looks for men. The moment he heard that the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent, he started searching for every man. The Lord confused him by that statement because women do not carry seeds. They only receive seeds. Are we together? Men are very important. Their endorsements can change your life. Most of the prayer we are praying, the answer is already in the hand of a man. It is within the power of certain gatekeepers. Please believe me. Somebody in this city has the power to see that this week you have a job. It's, it's not just in heaven. Listen, I'm telling you this. The property you seek is not going to come from another planet. Is in someone's account now. You see the power of the Holy Ghost touching people. It's not like it is now God wanted to touch them. Why does he start? Why didn't he touch them while you were singing your praise and worship? He was still here. Man. That means when you are ignoring a man, you are ignoring more than a body. You are ignoring your tomorrow. You are ignoring your next level. Listen very carefully. If I pray, Lord, lift me. The moment a man starts coming, the sun. The sun. Forget about the persona. Forget about the physical carriage. The sun in the spirit. Could this be the answer to my prayer? Do you not know that when God answers prayer, he sends men? Men are proof that he heard you. Listen. The real proof of favor is not money. The real proof of favor is men. If all you have is money, you are not very rich. Relationships are advantageous connections. You must understand the ministry of men. Life can be hard when you do not have men. In fact, the Bible says it is in the multitude of men that is the king's honor. A king's honor is not measured by the treasure in his palace. The proof of favor is the loyalty of men. Hallelujah. Watch this. The cosmos requires the ministry of men. I have, can I use, is it alright if I use some money? I have this is this is 60 pounds this man is praying Lord change my life and his answer is in my pocket watch this and while he's praying he's going to be having visions I have done it that's how God speaks and he's right because he has done it but if you do not understand the mystery that is responsible for your delivery you will keep having dreams and yet keep suffering. Keep having dreams. At a point, the devil will interface those dreams and say, God is lying to you. He is not lying. I'm showing you the mystery that is responsible for manifestation of spiritual realities. The ministry of men. 
let me tell you if god says yes and a man says no it only remains yes in the realm of the spirit in this realm it will be no So when you want to rise, it is not important to have favor with God alone. You must have favor with men. If you have favor with God alone, you will have encounters. You can even go to heaven. You can have strange experiences. But believe me, you will be broke. You will suffer. Things will go bad to the point that you will not love that God again. So you need favor. Jesus, you think that Jesus, if he did not have favor with men, he would ask someone to go and untie another man's donkey? He said, if they ask you, say the master has need of it. Favor. London is a good land, but your portion will only come when the grace that connects men to men is upon you. Believe me, there is a grace just because you move around the length and breadth of this beautiful region it does not mean you will be lifted it does not mean you will be blessed are we together now Mordecai remained at the gate even though he was helping the king because there was no man in the palace to speak for him the man in the palace hated him and the Jews and the man kept suffering but one day my God one day the king could not sleep that's god's part now and the chronicles were open the bible says but a man he sent and said who is there and a man came he said what shall be done to this man god lifts men through men please listen to me it is true and my my assignment i know that we may not have all the time but my assignment by the grace of god is to release a grace on you listen the grace that will compel men listen my dear people of god listen to me let me tell you this life is hard when no man shows up for you watch this the prophet speaks and says by this time tomorrow and yet nothing happened but four lepers the spirit of god comes upon four men and they say look why sit we here and die let us go men as soon as they began to move god multiplied them and their coming was like chariots of horses that means the grace that connects you to men is the grace that shifts you to a new level believe me when i tell you who likes you matters it does it does it does hallelujah